Hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm about to step out, but before I leave, I wanted to share my face of the day with you guys. So, zooming in. With the face. On my face, I am using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This one is an NC45 and this one is an NC50 and I just mix them half and half and that makes my color. The powder that I'm using is L'Oreal True Match Powder and is in the color C7. And as a contour, I used my CoverGirl Queen Q120. It looks like that. And as a highlight under my eye and on the bridge of my nose, I am using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. And I set that with my Ben Nye Banana Powder up at the top. And I did purchase this container from MAC, but I think you can get them at a craft store like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something like that. But anyway, I purchased this one from MAC because I saw it and grabbed it. As a highlight on my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose as well, I am using Max Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Whisper of Guilt. And it looks like that. Onto the eyes. I primed my eyeshadow with Milani Eyeshadow Primer. And I didn't put another base down. I didn't put like a, a jumbo pencil or anything down because I didn't really need it to be that bright. And I used my new Stila palette. Now I got this palette from Fame Expo and it was actually in a gift bag. I think the name of it is Lux Eyeshadow Palette. Anyway, the palette looks like this. And it comes with a smudge pencil at the top. So this color is on my lid right there, my mobile lid. And then this color is on the bridge, which is the transition color. And then this color I did in the outer V right there, but it wasn't deep enough for me. So when in doubt, break this bad boy out. This Wet n Wild Vanity Palette. And I used this color to deepen up the color in the outer V right there. Now, this palette could have I could have accomplished this look with this palette, but because I just got this one, I wanted to give it a go. So if you guys don't have this, you might still be able to find it on eBay or something, but I mean, $3 and this thing has taken me through a lot. Like it's great. And right, that color right there is great for an outer V and this color is great for a transition. And as a highlight color, I used another Wet n Wild and it is this color right here. And that's the highlight right there. Now you can find, you can still find this palette from Wet n Wild. It's called the Comfort Zone Palette and it's in an eight pan palette, but I just kind of depotted all mine and customized my own eyeshadow palette. And eyeliner. Well, let me go to blush actually, cause I miss blush. Sorry you guys. I'm all over the place, but we're gonna get there. So on, my cheeks, I layered it actually. So I used this copper tone blush first. And then I went on top with pink swoon. I'm trying to give you the true color right there. So I went on top of copper tone with that. And now let me finish the eyes. <laughs> I used my Jessie's Girl liner to kind of wing out my liner. I just love doing that. But I used Jessie Girl's liner. And then under the eye, I used my LA Girl Glide Gel Liner. And this one's in black. And I put that in the waterline. And then in the lash line, which is on the bottom, Mermaid Blue. Now, I received about five of these gel liners from LA Girl Cosmetics, so I'm gonna do a separate video on that, but these are the two that I use for this look today. And then I used my lashes, my half lashes in 307. 
from Nigel's Emporium. And lastly, my lips. I use the MAC Lip Liner and Chestnut. Everybody knows about Chestnut. And then I use Snob Lipstick by MAC. And that's what it looks like. So that's Snob by MAC. I wanted like a pink lip, but I didn't want it to be too bright. So I really deepened it up with the liner. And that's about it for the face of the day. So if you have any questions or comments, list them below in the comment section. And until the next video, you guys have an awesome, blessed day. Talk to you later.